Uh, my name is Andy Collins. I run my franchise in North Somerset, which is uh, just west of Bristol. And I have been running for just over a year now, about 13 months. We saw a lot of franchises uh, advertising at the franchise show. Um, and to be perfectly honest, um, I went with a totally open mind because I, I didn't specifically know what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to go self-employed. Um, so we looked, uh, myself and my wife looked around a lot of franchises. Um, they were all very good, don't get me wrong, um, but I just felt they weren't for me and some of them were a bit boring, I won't deny. Um, and some of them were just, I don't know, just, yeah, didn't, didn't capture my, uh, didn't capture me. So, um, funnily enough, the Rock Project was the, the last stand I saw on our way out and there was something that caught my eye. Um, I think, and I've been told this a lot, the Rock Project's got a great logo, got a great look about it and it did catch my eye and I think it was only five minutes talking with Stu and Larry, um, just finding out what it's all about. Really, uh, I thought this could be a great thing, could be a great thing, and uh, did capture my imagination. Um, I'd always thought of becoming a, a teacher anyway, I thought that could be a career path, but I didn't like the red tape that came with uh, being a teacher, uh, you know, in schools or, or wherever, and I thought this was a great way to, um, well, to to go down that path, but as a, as self-employed, and I think it's an interesting and uh, very um, uh, an inspiring way to to teach kids that what we do. I think it was. Uh, I think that's what what drew me to it. team are fantastic. Um, there's quite a wide team. Uh, obviously at the helm is Stu and Larry um, and they were very welcoming um, from the very beginning really, from the moment uh, we met them at the Bristol Franchise Show uh, right the way through to now. Um, you know they've continued uh, to be not only friendly and helpful and supportive but uh, well you know I'm always in contact with Stu um, talking whether it be email or, uh, or on the phone. And uh, yeah, no, they're, they're really friendly and helpful. Um, and that goes beyond you know, the rest of the team. The rest of the meet team I did meet uh, whilst training. So we've got uh, Hugh, who is IT support. I met him um, during my training and again, set, set me up on my, on my uh, MacBook and everything else um, and showed me everything, including everything IT related that needed to be done for, for the franchise. Uh, don't have to go with him, but I also met Ian, um, through the accountant, and uh, again, uh, for someone who's not self-employed, sorry, who's someone who's never been self-employed, I should say, um, he was great, showing me the ropes and you know how to start up and get get on the right path to be self-employed. Um, and then there's Steve. Uh, Steve is uh, there, you know, works with the franchise company, and uh, I met him during my training as well and uh, he was again very welcoming and helpful um, so the whole team as a package uh, you know you do feel like you are well supported well supported um, and the training like I say was a, a week's training up in North Wales which was good fun actually I really enjoyed my training um, we uh, uh, went through a variety of things really um, from startup through the business plan, various things. Um, I saw a live session, which was extremely helpful. Um, you know how to set up all the equipment, uh, going through everything in, in fine detail. And it must have been good training because you know um, I didn't haven't needed any re real further training, and I felt comfortable. It set me up really well for my first session, and uh, I was actually quite confident about my first session. And I think that was down to the training. Really, really very good. Well, no is the is the simple answer. Um, during my week of training, 
um, that first initial training, um, we, Stu for me, put uh, an advert online and I think that was on day one or two of the training and I think within a couple of days, probably even 24 hours, we had applications coming through already which was great. Um, and I think by the end of the training, by the end of the week, I was able to already start sifting through all the applications. Um, and I think within the next couple of weeks after that, um, you know, I drew up a short list of who I thought would be would make great tutors, and started interviewing really. Um, and I think that was very important because um, the tutors I do have now, we I I, I personally feel I have a fantastic team um, for my schools. Um, and uh, without that important process of looking through application forms, interviewing for the right tutors, um, I don't think we would have the team that I've got. And I've, you know, I'm so pleased with the team I have. We've, I've even nominated uh, two of them for Tutor of the Year Award and the, the National Tutor of the Year Award because um, I'm so impressed by the team we have. Um, you know, they're great with the students, they're professional. Um, some of them are still sort of gigging back and forth from London. I think that inspires the, children, yeah, the, the students uh, and as a whole, yeah, I'm very pleased um, with how it's worked out creating my team, my team of tutors. Uh, well, we've currently uh, signed up uh, about 110 to 115 students in the 13 months we've been running. So, uh, yes, it's been very good. Um, we currently have, uh, I think it's 82 students at the moment, and that's uh, currently who we have signed up. Um, it is normal to lose uh, a few students. Um, that's the way it goes, you know, it's not for everyone. Um, and, uh, but the 82 students we currently have uh, are loving it, and uh, I think that's, that's really great to see. Um, and that is down to the advertising and the, the marketing um, guidelines that you are given during the training, um, training and uh, basically uh, and then the manual as well as long as you stick to the manual and uh, you will be told this a lot when you when you train for the rock project but uh, you know stick to the manual and you can't really go wrong and I think I'd like to think that uh, what I've done and I have stuck to the guidelines of the adverts uh, and we sign up a good number of students so uh, I'm really pleased with the advertising marketing that we've done. Uh, well, do it. Uh, well, if you enjoy music as a whole, uh, if you enjoy working with children, um, if you'd like to be self-employed and work for yourself, um, then I definitely think this is for you. Um, I enjoy it. I genuinely really enjoy it. Uh, I think it's very rewarding, very rewarding. Um, for instance, uh, at the end of year concert, I did my first one um, back in July, um, and the feedback we've had has just been phenomenal um, from parents and students alike and I think that sort of spurs you on for doing the next one and um, you know uh, I enjoy choosing different songs to do every week um, you know as you get to know the students as well um, you know the, you get to know what they like and different music and I just think it's a it's a very rewarding again but it's a very um, worthwhile job and uh, like I say if you enjoy those sorts of things then this is definitely for you.